These are hydrogen atoms. If we look at the nucleus of this one, we'll see that it contains one proton and no neutrons. But not all hydrogen atoms are the same. Although all of them have one proton, some have no neutrons, while others have one or two neutrons in their nuclei. In chemistry, if two or more atoms have the same number of protons but a different number of neutrons, they're known as isotopes. Isotopes display the same chemical behaviour, but have different physical properties such as boiling point, melting point and density. So, there are three isotopes of hydrogen in nature. All isotopes can be named in terms of their mass number, which is the total number of protons and neutrons in their nuclei. But hydrogen isotopes also have special names, protium, deuterium and tritium. Different neutron numbers give rise to the different masses of isotopes, since atomic mass depends on the number of protons and neutrons. In the case of hydrogen isotopes, protium's atomic mass is 1.01 daltons, deuterium's mass is 2.01 daltons, and tritium's is about 3.02 daltons. Water that's made of tritium's is called superheavy water, or tritiated water, whereas water that's made of deuterium's is called heavy water. Water that contains only protium is known as light water. As you might guess, if a water molecule consists of one deuterium and one protium, it's referred to as semi-heavy water. In nature, only protium and deuterium are stable. Naturally occurring tritium being radioactive is extremely rare on Earth and occurs only in the atmosphere. Deuterium makes up 0.02% and protium 99.98% of naturally occurring hydrogen isotopes. So, if we drink 500 milliliters of water, we drink about 499.9 grams of light water and 0.1 gram of heavy water. What would happen if we drank heavy water on its own? Small amounts of heavy water would be safe, but research has shown that trees stopped growing if given only heavy water, while rats died when the heavy water amount reached one-third of the total amount of water in their bodies. This is called the isotope effect. Heavy isotopes with excess neutrons slow down chemical reactions. In particular, heavy water causes critical reactions in the body to slow down with potentially fatal results. Heavy water is definitely not suitable for drinking, but does have a practical use in certain types of nuclear reactor. All elements come in a variety of isotopes. There are three stable isotopes of oxygen, O16, O17 and O18. Along with the two stable isotopes of hydrogen, this means that altogether there are nine different types of water molecule in nature. <laughs>